This conference will now be recorded. Hey everyone, we are coming to you from GoToMeeting, a different kind of climate dispatch today in these um, weird new days. Um, just wanted to reach out and say that we're thinking of you all um, as we all collectively grapple with the new reality of a of a global pandemic. So all thinking about <clears throat> what that means and how we protect our own and our family and our community's public health and do right by everyone and can still continue to maintain some semblance of continuity and focus on other really important issues. So we are thinking about what that looks like for us and really wanting to just stay connected to you all um, our community, because I think also at this moment in time, it really underscores the absolute importance of community and connection and the sort of resilience and and environmental and community protection. Sorry, my dog is a nut job. <laughs> I'm sure you're all evolving to this weird new world as well. But um, anyway, just wanted to say that we're thinking of you and provide a quick update on what's happening or not in the legislature and just let you know that we're looking for ways to continue to maintain our essential connections to you all and to continue to make progress on really crucial issues um, as we focus collectively on the most important um, thing before us, which is stemming this pandemic and maintaining public health and uh, um, in this real new world. Lauren, I'm here with Lauren Hurl, I'm a conservation director, and she's going to give us a quick update um, on the legislative front and take it away. Yes, yeah, so um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all hanging in there. Um, so our understanding of what's happening with the legislature at this point, so they are, of course, um, entirely focused right now on response, um, emergency management, and thinking about how in these really difficult times, um, knowing that businesses are shuttered, schools are shuttered, our essential services, food, medicine, childcare, um, getting out to people. So that's where their focus is. Um, they have started doing things like remote conference calls um, to continue some committee work focused on these um, COVID-19 response measures and um, the full House and Senate and Rules Committees and others are doing these call-in opportunities. You can, um, on the legislative website, you can still find committee schedules with that call-in information. So they're letting people call in and listen, although not yet, haven't quite figured out how to let people participate in that kind of process. Um, although of course, you can reach out through email or other things to your lawmakers if you have ideas, thoughts, concerns, questions. Um, so we're continuing to monitor that and keep a sense of what's happening there. Um, the legislature is not going to go back into the building next week, except perhaps the Senate to vote on some of these emergency measures that need to go through. So the House had passed um, a kind of omnibus bill before they left. Um, so that might happen next week. And then they're trying to figure out how they can essentially authorize themselves to work remotely without having to. Um, come back together in a way that might be, um, you know, problematic for the the best advice we're getting on uh, public health measures and social distancing, as we're all aware. Uh, so we'll keep you all posted on what that looks like. Um, we're, you know, every other kind of policy area is on hold as they focus in on these issues. We are thinking a lot about how um, the, the issues that we work on and care about intersect with the responses and what needs to be done um, to keep our communities healthy and safe. Um, and, you know, of course, the climate crisis isn't going away. So, you know, what does, how are we setting ourselves up for um, responses that are, you know, making as resilient and um, sustainable communities and a future as we move forward through these difficult times. But of course, first and foremost, ensuring the, the safety, health, and that our community members are getting the essentials that they need so that's kind of where we are with the legislature. I'll turn it back over to Joey um, to wrap us up and talk about how we can kind of keep in touch from here. Thanks, Lauren. And just to say, <clears throat> as things are changing, ever changing, um, we are really committed to wanting to maintain a connection with you. Again, the importance of community and 
making sure that we stay strong and stay connected and support each other through these turbulent times is really crucial. And we're gonna do that, um, embracing the real dire need for social distancing and, and what that looks like in terms of how we communicate with you is gonna be evolving, but please stay tuned. Um, one way that we are looking to inform next steps, um, both in the immediate future, but also longer term is putting together a survey, wanting to hear from you all, um, your thoughts on where we should be focusing both short term and also continuing to set the stage for longer term um, priorities that continue, um, that are gonna continue to evolve. So please look for that. We will send a link to that. And we really hope just to maintain some continuity and real clear communications and uh, virtual connections with you all as, as we develop resources and tools and strategies um, to make it through these these crucial um, next few weeks and months um, with as much strength and resilience as possible, setting us all up for um, a return to normalcy and a a healthy, prosperous you know world where we continue to make the the shift that we need to and wrestle with things again, like the climate crisis, as Lauren noted, um, a lot is in limbo. Um, lives are in limbo. We just wanted to let you know that we are thinking of you and really wanting to stay connected and communicate regularly. So look for us virtually um, as we evolve our tools and just know that we're thinking of you and sending the best to you and yours for like healthy, inspired and um, lots of time in nature. Get outside, play. Thank you for all that you do and we'll stay in touch. Look for the survey in the follow-up email um, and in the link.